what is uniform velocity and what is non-uniform velocity. As we know, speed in a specific direction gives us velocity. Now, remember, velocity may be uniform or we can say velocity may be non-uniform. Now, if someone asks me what is uniform velocity, then I will give him an example. Let's consider if a car is standing at a point A and if the car is moving from point A to the point B and let if the displacement of the car from point A to the point B is 12 meter and let the time taken by the car to move from point A to the point B is 4 second. Now let if the car is moving from point B to the point B let consider if the displacement of the car from point B to the point C is 12 meter and the time taken by the car from point B to the point C is 4 second. Now here displacement of a car from point A to the point B is 12 meter and the time taken by the car to move from point A to the point B is 4 second. Similarly displacement of a car from point B to the point C is 12 meter and the time taken by the car to move from point B to the point C is 4 second. Now we already know that velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. Here velocity is equal to 12 meter divided by 4 second. And we are getting velocity is equal to 3 meter per second. Now the velocity of a car from point A to the point B is 3 meter per second and similarly the velocity of a car from point B to the point C is also 3 meter per second. So from A to C velocity is 3 meter per second. Hence we can say that velocity is remaining the same from point A to the point B from point B to the point C. Hence velocity is same and we say that velocity is uniform. So this was all about uniform velocity. Now let me tell you about the non-uniform velocity. If a car is standing at point A and if the car is moving to the point B, let's consider if the displacement from point A to the point B is 16 meter and the time taken by the car to move from point A to the point B is for second. Now if the car is moving beyond the point B to the point C and if the displacement from point B to the point C is 24 meter and if the car is taking a time of 3 second. Now here we, we, we will find the velocity of the car from point A to the point B and we know that velocity is equal to displacement divided by time. Here the displacement is 16 meter from point A to the point B and the time taken by the car to move from point A to the point B is 4 second. So velocity is equal to 16 meter divided by 4 second. Now velocity we are getting velocity is equal to 4 meter per second. So velocity of a car from point A to the point B is 4 meter per second. Now let's find out velocity of a car from point B to the point C. Here we again know that displacement of the car from point B to the point C is 24 meter. And the time taken by the car to move from point B to the point C is 3 second. So velocity is equal to 24 meter divided by 3 second and it is equal to 8 meter per second. So the velocity of a car from point B to the C is 8 meter per second. We know that velocity from point A to the point B was it was it was 4 meter per second 
and now the velocity from point B to the point C is at meter per second. So we can say from point A to the point C velocity is changing from 4 meter per second to 8 meter per second. So we say velocity is changing thus we can say that velocity is non-uniform. Now let me tell you about that we know that velocity is a weighted quantity. So when direction changes when the direction of velocity is changing it means velocity is non-uniform and when direction does not change we know velocity is uniform. Now let if a car is standing at point A and it is moving to the point B and beyond from point B it is moving to the point C. Let if a car is moving with a constant velocity of 10 meter per second towards north. Now the car from point A to the point B and from point B to the point C is moving with a constant velocity of 10 meter per second towards north. Here the direction is same towards north. So we say direction remains constant, direction remains same. So we say velocity is uniform. Now let if a car is moving to a point P in one direction and then beyond P it is moving in another direction then we will say direction is changing. So velocity is non-uniform. Now if I if I define then I will say your uniform velocity is defined when magnitude and direction is both things remain same then a velocity will be uniform and non-uniform velocity is defined as when magnitude changes of the velocity or direction of the velocity changes or if both magnitude and direction of the velocity changes then we say that we have a non-uniform velocity. So this was all about uniform velocity and a non-uniform velocity.